What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Jake Shavink here, and today we are going to take a look at Packers rookie corner Carrington Valentine's performance against the LA Rams. By all accounts, a really strong performance across the board, defending the run in coverage, right? Just gave up one catch on nine targets in this game. So let's break the film down and take a look at how dominant Valentine's performance truly was. Off to the film room. All right, guys, so here we go into the film room, taking a look at Carrington Valentine's impressive performance against the Rams. So right off the bat, you're going to see tight end in motion here. And what we're working to is trying to get this screen blocked up. And what Valentine does a really good job of, A, is diagnosing the screen, but also working to, to kind of slip underneath and around blocks. Because he does get a piece of Nakua's foot there. Even if he catches that ball, there's a chance that Valentine getting a piece of his foot slows the momentum down and really limits the gain there uh, early in this ball game. So here, what you're going to get is a running play with Henderson. Valentine recognizes it. Once again, he, he's, he's getting involved in the run play. He does trip him up. A really nice job by Slayton, of course, to clean this up. But you are going to see Valentine right here. He gets a piece of Henderson, right? And that kid gets him off balance in the air. And Slayton's there to clean things up. So Valentine, physical corner, obviously has the length to challenge guys in, in this press look. But you, you saw it just now, his ability to come up and the willingness to come up and play the run. Here against against Cooper Cup, this is a this is a nice rep. I think Cup does a good job, obviously, disengaging, right? Reducing the surface area through contact off of the release. But I do think Carrington Valentine's in the hip pocket really well. That flag is not on him. Don't worry about it. That's Gary being off sides. I think he's he's in the hip pocket, and there's a chance that he could have been undercutting this route because he, he's right in the hip pocket. He's there in man coverage, and you can see him be pretty successful in these press looks. And this is not a slouch second. This is not a slouch uh, receiving room either, right? You have Nakua, Cup, and Tutu Atwell, who's played actually pretty well this season. Here you're going to get Atwell running a curl route, and Valentine does a great job in transition here. Good recognition skills and obviously the ability to transition from working up the field back downhill. Ball comes out and you might think that right here it looks like pass interference from Carrington Valentine. Well, I don't think so. I think you see him work around and through the ball without generating a ton of contact. The contact really comes at once Atwell is making his attempt to catch this football. Good disruption at the catch point. Works around him, and, and there you have your first pass breakup of the game for Valentine. Now here, once again, sniffing things out. Right, You run play action. You're going to work this screen backside. Got linemen coming out. Just a really nice job. Valentine closes and then challenges the catch point. And another pass breakup, this time against Puka Nakua. Now, I, I really like this. Didn't really, there was no play here. Play gets blown dead. I think McVay called a timeout. But I really want to highlight from this play is Valentine getting involved with communication, right? There's a bunch look here on one side of the field. It looks like Nixon's actually going to be blitzing on this play. So now it's up to, okay, right, here we go. Talking to Jonathan Owens. Who do you have, right? If, if this is match or this is zone, it's probably some version of match, and you have Alexander on one side going up against the number one over here on the backside of this play. I really like that that Owens and him are in constant communication. Okay, I assume it's because Owens is saying, yeah, I got the guy vertically. I got the guy who's crossing over the middle of the field. Right, Really like that level of communication from this Packers secondary, especially with young guys like Valentine doing it right there. Once again... Defending the run. Toss play. A lot of bodies pulling here. You got tight ends. You got 70 pulling. Skoranek's basically down blocking the end man. And then you have Cup working there as well. Once again, look at him slip underneath this block. And get a piece of, of the foot of... I believe that's Henderson there. That is a really impressive play if you want to watch it one more time. like Look at the position he gets himself in to make this play. Right, Slide underneath. Just a little unconventional, but hey, any way to get around blocks is impressive to me, and he does. He gets a hold of that left foot right there. Obviously, there's guys to help him out, but just a really nice effort and execution defending the run as a corner. Now, they got him in some press looks, and I was really impressed. Obviously, here, 
a really nice job actually by Atwell to avoid press. But Valentine does a good job recovering, right? He's kind of in the hip pocket. He's got some safety help over the top. And now with Rippon scrambling, he's got eyes on where Rippon's going to go. He, he can close down on Henderson. He can also pick up the crosser in the tight end. So he's got a lot of bases covered on that play. Obviously, it looks like Rippon scrambles for the first down. But love the eyes in zone coverage, getting them on the quarterback once he's in the scramble drill. So here, bottom of your screen against Atwell. Nice release from Atwell. Valentine did a good job covering a lot of these dig routes, but I think this one... Just when you see him sort of slip in coverage, you know, and Atwell slips as well. But I think really he he's done a great job, especially because he's obviously got outside leverage on a lot of those types of plays in this game. Those dig routes against Atwell that knows he has a little bit of help to the inside normally. And I think he was a, did a good job staying in the hip pocket and, and staying fluid through his, his transition point uh, to defend Atwell. Here... Again, I think even if Atwell doesn't stumble out of the break, this is a pretty good anticipatory throw from Rippon. I think this is just a really good job in transition from Valentine because if Atwell's here, right, he's he maybe a yard further out to the sideline, I still think Valentine is in a position to challenge and at least stretch out to prevent any catch being made there from Atwell. I think the transition was extremely good there. And once again, not giving up. A catch. He only gave up one the entire game. Now we get him to come up and line up and press against Puka Nakua. Two-hand jam there. Really disrupts, and, and, and Nakua's really got no momentum, so he, he can easily recover, and he's obviously got help to the inside in Campbell on a quick one there. Ribbon scrambles and finds, I believe, Royce down here. But again, a nice second rep there in press coverage. Here we go. Nakua runs the out route, and I think this is just a good job with recognition skills, right? Nakua doesn't really sell much other than right here. About this second step, he's already kind of leaning to this out route and running this quick one. Once again, diagnose the play quickly and, and really just float, almost float to break up that pass. Using the length to his advantage, right? Let's Let's back it up just a little bit one more time for this one and just look at him float and, and break up that pass at the catch point so good using the length like I said to his advantage really impressed there last one here not a whole lot to write home about but again it's it's challenging Nakua's physicality right Nakua almost kind of running a little stutter go type of route but he's, he's always in the hip pocket right here in zone coverage he's running with him he's checking on him checking on the QB at all times and you see him stay pretty sticky in coverage, even if maybe if it's more zone match than it is man coverage there. So there's a lot to like with Carrington Valentine. Obviously, you know, he he has some experience so far this season, but this was by far his best game to date. So it's really nice to have that type of performance, especially against what I said before, a, a really good receiving core that, that's kind of broken out with Atwell and Nakua joining Cup in, in the ranks of, of pretty darn good receivers, right? And I think when you see him challenging the catch point, making pass breakups happen, and, and really attacking to help in run support, you're getting almost what you feel like could be a complete cornerback too. And, and the fact that he's doing this right after Rasul Douglas gets traded is just equally as exciting. And I can't wait to see uh, how he performs down the stretch this season. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on Carrington Valentine. If you did, throw a like down there. Subscribe if you're new. Plenty more content coming soon on the channel. I will catch you guys in the next video. Farewell.